Hi everybody, it's Bob with another audio tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the halftime shuffle. Now I'm in Logic Pro programming drums, but any DAW you have will work just fine. The uh, concept is the same. So generally what I do is I just start off with a basic uh, drum kit to do my uh, MIDI programming, and then I'll add some, uh, some other parts to it. Um, some other samples and so forth just to thicken up the drums a little bit. So let me start with this uh, basic drum kit here and what I'm gonna do, uh, well, let me just play it here first so you can hear what this sounds like. This is the halftime shuffle. Okay, so um, let me mute all of these drum hits except the hi-hat, just to show you what's going on here. So just a basic shuffle beat on the hi-hat. And so if you're not familiar with what that is, um, go take a look at my video that I created, Shuffle and Swing Beats with Eight Note Triplets. You can see here, if you look at this hi-hat, part here, if you count triplets, one and uh, two and, uh, you know, for each beat here, you'll see that there's one of the triplets missing. It's the middle one. So that creates one, a two, a three. I'll play it again. One, a two, a three. Okay, just that's just your basic shuffle beat. So now uh, let me unmute the kick. And this is where you generally have some creativity here on, on the kick. So a lot of folks have made this halftime shuffle famous, uh, including John Bonham, uh, Bernard Purdy, Jeff Picaro. And this is where the variation a lot of time comes in on the kick. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting my kick on beat one, two, and four. So on beat one, it's, it's uh, on the one. And then it's on the uh of one and the of two, and the of four. So it's on beat one, two, and four. And th that's kind of lining up with the hi-hat. So here's what that sounds like. And then um, what makes this a halftime shuffle is the snare, your backbeat. Instead of being on two and four, it's only on three. So I'm going to unmute that on three. And so for each measure, I'm going to unmute the snare on three. And here's what that sounds like. So that snare being on beat three makes this whole halftime feel almost half the speed right because normally the backbeat is on two and four and so now the snare is only on three now these extra snare hits here these are ghost notes so let me unmute those so let me tell you where these um, ghost notes are placed that's the and so it's right in the middle you know one and uh of the triplet it's the and of two and the and of four. So here's what that sounds like. So a ghost note is played very lightly, so I pulled the velocity way down on that. And so in Logic Pro, uh, velocity is uh, shows up as a different color here. So you can see the red is the loudest. That would be MIDI. Uh, value 127 and everything else is something less than that. So now what I do, um, that's just a basic drum kit. I don't know, what did I use here in Logic for this, uh, for this drum kit? It's the, I just use the default here. So that's how I got started. And then what I do is, um, in this case, I think I used the ESX24 sampler I did. And I just went through here and, and picked out some... Um, some single drums to enhance this kit. So here's, uh, here's the kick. So that's playing exactly where it was placed on my, uh, on my drum kit up here. And then the snare. 
So you hear that ghost note, and then and then followed by um, that louder snare hit on beat three. And there's just a little bit of reverb added in there. Here's without the reverb. And then with it. Okay, and then uh, there's a hi-hat. And it's just pan, hard pan left. And then I have this little, I don't know, it sounds like an alarm clock to me. Okay. And then um, the one thing that I have here is an Apple loop that is enhancing the, uh, the snare hit. So it's a pretty big hit here. Here it is. Let me play that for you without the reverb on there. And now I'll turn the reverb on. I would consider this drum a two-bar loop uh, because this is not playing along with the snare hit on every third beat. It's every, uh, every other one. If I take my drum kit and I turn on all the drums that I enhanced it with, it sounds like this. So if I put this in the context of the rest of the mix, um, I'll play the chorus of my song, A Queen of a Fool, that I'm getting ready to release. And so here's what this, uh, this halftime shuffle sounds like in the context of my song. You, the queen of a fool, yeah, I'm missing you, the queen of a fool. So there you go, guys. That's the halftime shuffle. Hope you liked the video. If so, give me a thumbs up. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. I'm missing you, the queen of a fool.